Welcome, friends, to another exciting episode of A VGM Journey. And I'm your host, The Messenger. The track that we're playing in today's show is One At from the game Earthbound. And it was composed by Keiichi Suzuki and Hirokazu Tanaka. We got a pretty fun show for you guys this week. A lot of retro stuff and a couple requests as well. And I'm thinking... Let's get right into things. This next track is a request from Heat Override. He wanted me to play the boss theme from Bonk's Revenge, and that was composed by Hirohiko Takayama. <laughs> track that you just heard that was the boss theme from Bonk's Revenge. It was composed by Hirohiko Takayama and this was a request by Heat Override. So thank you Heat Override for that request. I will admit that I don't play enough TurboGrafx-16 tracks on the show. That is something that I want to do more of in the future. And he did request quite a handful of TG-16 tracks, so I'll definitely be playing those in future episodes. And this track has a, a vibe that I wouldn't necessarily associate with boss music. But there is a, a little bit of a tension to it. Not exactly a darkness, but a little bit of a seriousness to it. And I've always thought of the character of Bonk to be the mascot of the TurboGrafx-16. So he's had a few games and even some spinoffs on the TG-16. And from my understanding, they're all really good. And now that I think about it, I do like some of the music from this game and the first game in the series, Bonk's Adventure. So I'm definitely thinking of playing some more of that in the future. So I just want to say once again, thank you Heat Override for that track. We're going to move on to a, another request. And this one is a lot more modern. And this is coming from Chris Murray. He wanted me to play the track woman the spirit of the festival from the game new sakura wars and that was composed by kohei tanaka
that track that you just heard that was Woman, the Spirit of the Festival from the game New Sakura Wars. It was composed by Kohei Tanaka, and this was a request by Chris Murray. So thank you, Chris, for that request. This was totally a Chris Murray type of track. And when I started listening to it, it just came as no surprise that this was something that he would totally request. She got that really cool Asiatic sound along with the total badass rocking sounds with it too. And I'm going to admit that I'm not really all that familiar with Sakura Wars. And I did a quick Google search and found out that it was a series of turn-based strategy games. And this and this game ditches that and goes for more of a an action dynasty warriors type of gameplay and the anime aesthetic really looks nice so i think all the characters and the the environments kind of have a a nice colorful poppiness to it real bright and in your face type of style i will admit that this game is probably not for me but I think it would be a good recommendation for people that are real into that. Is it looks, I think gameplay wise, it looks fun. I just don't think that everything else is for me. But I will say that this song is really good. So I just want to say thank you, Chris Murray, for that track. I think we're going to go back in time and play something just a little quite a bit darker and i want to play this track from mortal kombat 2 this is the deadpool and it was composed by dan forden that you just heard that was the deadpool from the game mortal kombat 2 and it was composed by dan forden pretty recently i got a late valentine's day gift from my fiance carly and she got me one of those arcade one-up units and this one was mortal kombat 2 and it also had a bunch of other midway games on it including Mortal Kombat 1 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And I thought that really kicked ass. And Mortal Kombat 2, it is one of those sequels that it's just bigger and better than the original. While the first game was laying the groundwork for the series, I thought the second game really expanded on the type of characters that you could play as and he had all these really cool stages including the deadpool which i could best describe it as this stage where it's surrounded by acid and it is one of the stages 
in that game where there is a stage fatality and that you can knock your opponent into the acid. And I always felt like the soundtracks for the Mortal Kombat games to be pretty underrated. So I know for a lot of people, the music is probably one of the weaker aspects of those games. But I always thought they set the right mood for those games. And they occasionally sound really badass or or there's a nice score like vibe to it. So I think this track really sets up the right vibe of, hey, I'm in a really dangerous situation and there's a good chance that I could die fighting this guy. And I actually was thinking about possibly doing an episode in the near future focusing on the the original three Mortal Kombat games and play a lot of songs from that. So be on a lookout for that. I think it's going to be a fun one. I think it's time to move on to our next track. And this is coming from Journey to Silius. This is Stage 3, and it was composed by Naoki Kodaka. That track that you just heard, that was Stage 3 from the game Journey to Silius, and it was composed by Naoki Kodaka. And I think that's going to just about do it for the show this week. If you like what you've been listening to, have your friends check out the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, whatever podcatching service that you can think of. I'm more than likely going to be on there. You can email the show at vgmjourney at yahoo.com, and you could also check us out on Twitter at vgmjourney. I'm going to play out with one more track, and I think after listening to a lot of really exciting stuff or dark-sounding music, I think we just need to relax quite a bit. And I want to play the shop theme from Waterworld, and that was composed by Dean Evans. Have a good week, everyone. <laughs>